Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. Alright, something new we're going to start here. We're going to start power ranking. So we're going to rank NASCAR Truck Series, Xfinity, and Cup. Today we're only going to have the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series as we lead in the Phoenix because the Truck Series is off. So the first week of power rankings will be after week three of the Truck Series. So after the next truck race, we'll do that one as well. So we're going to do the weekly power rankings based on Vegas, and then we're going to do the year-to-date based on Daytona, California, and Vegas, and then each week going forward, we'll just add to the stats. So for the weekly power rankings, number 10, we have Cole Custer. He finished 12th Vegas. He was 8th in Stage 2. Number 9 is Sheldon Creed. He finished 9th in the race. He was next week 9th in both stages. Number 8, we have Daniel Hemrick, who finished 10th in the race, was 6th in Stage 1. Number seven on the list is Josh Berry. He finished fifth in the race. He was tenth in stage one. Number six on the list is Riley Herbst. He finished eighth in the race. He was fifth and seventh in the stages. Number five on the power rankings for this week, John Hunter Nemechek. He finished sixth in the race. Number four, we have Sam Mayer, who finished seventh at Vegas. He was fourth in stage two. Now, in between three and four, we actually have the colleague number 10. In this case, it was Kyle Busch. He finished seventh in stage one, third in stage two, and fourth in the race. Third, we have Chandler Smith, who finished third in the race. He was fourth and sixth in both stages. Almost got a victory. Number two on the weekly power rankings, we have Justin Algar. He finished second in the race and second in stage one. And the number one for the week in the power rankings for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, we have Austin Hill. He won stage one, finished third in stage two, and then won the race. Now, the top ten of the power rankings for year to date. Number ten, we have Parker Clarement. In the number 48 big machine, we have one top ten. And number nine, we have Joe Griff Jr., He's got one top 10 on the air. Not only is he driving for RSS Racing, he's also driving five races in the number 19 Joe Gibbs Toyota. Number eight on the list is Josh Berry. He's got two top fives, two top tens. You can also see the driver profile of Josh Berry right here on Robert Sports Show. Next up, number seven on the list for a year to date, we have Cole Custer, two stage wins, one top 10. Number six, we have Sam Mayer, one top five, two top tens. Number five, we have Riley Herbst with three top tens. In between fourth and fifth would be the number 10 colleague car, the all-star car. Um, we've had three different drivers in three different races, Justin Haley, Austin Millen, and Kyle Busch. We have one top five and three top tens for that car. Number four on the list comes from Chandler Smith, also with colleague. Two top fives, two top tens. You have to lose, there's a saying out there, you have to lose a race to win a race. This poor kid lost at Vegas. White flag gets passed. That's just heartbreaking. We know how talented he is. 20 year old, he's got his head on straight. He's got a young son, Chandler Smith Jr. Can't wait, you know, 15, 20 years down the line watching Chandler Smith Jr. race with his dad. Um, former. Final four, he was a championship four last year for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Number three on the week, on the year-to-date power rankings, we have John Hunter Nemechek. Also last year with KBM, one win, two top fives, three top tens, one stage win. Number two on the year-to-date power rankings, we have Justin Algaier, one stage win, three top fives, and three top tens. And the number one on the power rankings for the NASCAR Xfinity Series so far in 2023, there's nobody else. Austin Hill, two wins, two top fives, three top tens, and two stage wins. So, plan is, at this point going forward, we're going to do the weekly power rankings based on the previous race, and then the year to date was the whole year and everything. Now, these don't typically won't line up with the points. Right now, it seems like they kind of do, um, but as time goes on, as drivers have a good races, bad races, etc., etc., it probably won't line up as well. So stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the power rankings of the NASCAR Cup Series. As always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.